The bearing on my electric scooter went bad, so I gotta replace it with this 6003 2RS bearing. This is a bearing that's used in a lot of different electric scooters, but I know specifically the Apollo Ghost uses it as well. In order to do this though, we gotta take everything apart. T25 Torx bit. Of course, this isn't gonna play nice, so. Secure that and see if the Allen key is going to work for us today. Which I can honestly say it doesn't feel like it is going to. So this Allen head screw right here, this is the right Allen wrench for it and it's spinning in there freely. So one trick that you can do is take a Torx bit So for this one to match up it would be a T25. What I have here is a T27. So I can get the tip of it in just barely, just the tip and now we're just going to hammer it down a little bit So it's creating its own grooves in here, and then we got a twist. It's probably one of the easiest ways to get out a stuck Allen key. All right, we got all these off. We'll take off our brake disc, flip it over. Sorry about that. We'll flip it over. We wanna let out the air for the tire because we're gonna take the tire off completely. Okay, that should be good enough. And we'll keep that off. That way I can actually pull it out from the rim. Okay, we got that done. We'll flip it back over. Now we're gonna take this off. Okay, that should be enough. Alright, that whole assembly's off. We're gonna go around again. So this bit, it likes to stick. So what we're gonna end up doing is gonna go in here with a little screwdriver and then just slowly pry our way around and we might even use some heat on this bearing as well. I'm actually gonna try something a little bit new. I took the End ones, we're gonna put those in the vise. That way we're not messing up the threads. And now, we should have a little bit better access into this. This plan might not work at all, but. Okay, so there's a little bit. There's a little bit. I know this looks elaborate, but I promise you it's not. This is just over where the router goes, so I have a space, and then I have these two boards clamped right here so that this isn't gonna move, and I can hammer down on this guy gently, of course, so that we can get this out. All right, let's look inside this electric motor. So this is the hub side that I was talking about. That one came off pretty easy. You can still see <clears throat> there is some rust in here, which is not good. I probably need to just replace this whole thing, but the bearing itself is in good condition. Now we'll look at our rotor within 
our motor and we can see that these brushes are not in good shape. Well, actually, these are the layers of annealed steel, but yeah, not great. That's our rotor surface. But what <clears throat> really is the problem is this right here. This Should not be doing that. So we got to replace that. One of the best things you can do for yourself is get a good bearing puller set. And I got this at the tail end last time that I did this job. And I wish I had gotten it much, much sooner. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, let's try this again. There we go. One shot bearing removed. I was just using the tool wrong. Oops. Well, certainly not perfect, but a lot better than it was before. So got all this cleaned out because you wanna make sure to clean it out as best as you can. While you got it apart, you'll have better connections as your rotor rotates within the stator, which is going to give you better speed, better performance overall. So now we'll go ahead and replace that bearing. One of the things that we're gonna make sure to do with this new bearing is add some bearing grease to the outside of it. You don't need a ton, but you want enough just to have a decent coat all along that bearing. It'll help you to, it'll help you to get the bearing in, which is, the more important part. So we'll do that. We'll do a little layer right here. And then it's time to get this in. So one thing that I did notice is I do have a little scuff on the inside of the bearing. So that's probably where that moisture is getting in to deteriorate this bearing prematurely. But what we're gonna do here is gonna take this oversized impact and just ease this bearing in. We're sitting in there where it's supposed to be and it's moving exactly as much as it needs to. So now we get to put all this back, back together. Okay, we're back here on the vise so that we have a surface where we can push this through and not have anything underneath. And now I've got the wire already fed through. I'm gonna do a thin layer of bearing grease, especially along this groove right here, so that we're not fighting that when we hammer it in. If you have any questions about what we've done so far, please feel free to add them below. And if you thought this was helpful, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel where I put more helpful scooter videos together so that we can keep them on the road. Okay, got that done. This is tricky though, because right here, this is, it's a magnet. That's what a motor is. And it's going to want to stick to the sides no matter what. So we got to find that sweet spot where it'll just go in vertical. not get stuck from the side to side once you get it centered because it's a magnet it's just gonna center itself after the fact which is actually really nice so then we just have to worry about this guy and again we're just gonna go like this Okay, now we line up and start screwing. We're spinning well along the hub, but one thing that we want to do before we actually hook everything back up completely is 
is we want to kind of do a little test run. So I'm gonna throw these back on here. I'm just giving it enough so that it doesn't fall out of here. Because the last thing that we want is to have done all this work and then to try and go back and it not work because we screwed something up but that didn't happen it's just good practice to have okay so we're going over here uh, plug that in Come on, don't fight me. There we go. We should be good. Gonna turn it on. See if there's any error codes first. Nothing. Okay. That's the front. Now let's check our rear. checked this connection right here just because it felt a little weird when it was going in and one of the pins had bent a little bit so I bought it back up made sure that it was connected properly and we got power so now we're good to undo it all and then put it back together so that is everything that you need to know in order to do a bearing replacement or to remove or take apart the motor for your own electric scooter. If this was helpful, I would appreciate it. If you would like the video, leave a comment, subscribe, do all those things, do some of those things, do one of those things. But I wanna be able to help out as many people as I can with these videos. So you'd be really helping out me, but more importantly, you'd be helping out others. So with that having been said, y'all have fun, be safe, make good choices, have a great day.